The night coin is getting some results. After our calls, Benson High School coaches finally got some assurance from the district that soccer and football will not be cut next fall. All right, the district attorney, or the district rather, sent all principals emails today explaining sports won't be cut at any high school for the next two years, but changes could happen after that. Jessica Morford is live at Benson High School with more. Well, Dan, I checked with the district and they tell me over the next two years they will be evaluating sports at all high schools. And yes, after that, cuts could come. So we wanted to know more about the decision making process. If there were preliminary schedules, why didn't Benson get a preliminary schedule? Those are those are good, honest questions that we just want answered. John Slaughter says rumors about football and soccer cuts were reinforced when fall schedules for other schools showed up, but Benson's never did. No official news came out. There was no press release, and we feel like we were we were forced to fight. We were forced to march. After our repeated calls to the school district, student protests. This entire process is screwed and skewed. In vocal school board meetings, Benson coaches were finally informed today fall sports are back on. But many feel Benson, one of two focus schools in the district, all too often finds itself the target of changes and cuts and is often left in the dark when it happens. How did we get to this point? You know, who okayed certain schedule releases or, you know, why, why do we have to have community meetings just with Benson? I went to Portland Public Schools today to ask them how decisions are being made when it comes to cutting sports. A spokesperson for the district was not available to speak on camera. By email says the district will hold community-wide meetings with each school and take feedback. We will make sure that we're following the state's PIL or Portland Interscholastic League rules and regulations and a formal recommendation will be made to the school board which makes the final decision. The director of athletics, Marshall Haskins, makes recommendations and made the decision to cut football and sports at Benson, a recommendation that's now on hold. 55 boys are ready to go for football. Slaughter says while enrollment at Benson may be lower than other schools and some sports records not as strong. We also want to make sure that we are providing a holistic view for our kids for high school, and that includes sports. Now, Portland High School's athletics is moving from a 5A league to a 6A league this year, but Benson coaches say that that shouldn't mean cuts to their sporting programs. An official announcement about this latest move will happen at Portland School Board meeting on Monday. Live in Northeast Portland, Jessica Morkard, Coin 6 News.